Okay, welcome back. This is just some videos that talk about virtualization in the in the in the abstract. So let me let me get back to the tour. All right. So here we go. Um, you know, welcome to the course. We're in room uh, 308. Uh, I mentioned again that you're going to need a Windows based machine, course navigation. Basically, what you're going to be going through is modules, and there's lecture notes and a bunch of other stuff. Things to do first. Okay, so. Uh, get a copy of the required textbook. Yeah. Read the course syllabus. Well, quite frankly, we've covered vast majority of that already uh, with the, just the videos that you're watching now. Go through the slide presentation. I already did that, so maybe you don't need to do that. Uh, watch the introduction videos. You're doing that now. Apply for an, an Azure DevTools for Teaching account. That's in supplemental materials and the step-by-step instructions. Then install Office and Visio on your machine, but don't install SQL Server just yet. I want to do that one together, so to speak. Okay, so let me just go through the list. Um, by the way, this is the teacher's view, so I can see an awful lot more than you can see. But, you know, here's the original two. You know, you need a Windows-based machine. How do you go about getting Visio? Here's all the assignments. <clears throat> so um, a syllabus quiz is due the first week. And then, you know, there's assignments, there's the quizzes, term project, and and the final exam in, in midterm. Um, there's three discussion forums. If you wanted to, you could introduce yourself, say, you know, hi, I'm Bob, I've got six iguanas and two wombats, and I'll be graduating in the spring, if you want to. Course feedback is for, <clears throat> you can come, you kind of, you know, bitch and moan and complain, or say, hey, uh, anybody want to get together for a study group, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> uh, grading notes is just for me, it's a closed forum. This is where I'll post, you know, okay, the average score was an 83, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay. I'm going to skip over these things because they don't mean anything in, in my view, but the syllabus, okay. A uh, copy of the, of the honest to God uh, syllabus. Um, it's basically everything you need to know about the course, that's for sure. Um, and then, of course, the syllabus also has everything that's due, you know, all the things that are due. And see, something is due every single Thursday. Okay, cool. So modules is where you really want to go because modules is where the, the guts of the thing is. So it's broken up into sections. Let's just go through the first one here. I'm going to go through the, you know, start here. So this one you've seen, this is the beginning screen. Okay, blah, 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 blah. And then in here, it's... a uh, you know, a little bit more information about me, about office hours, one more time, the textbook, copy of the syllabus, a copy of the PowerPoint slides we just went through, the course objectives, because those are a requirement. Um, and then here's the course schedule. This is the official schedule, which means if anything changes, this is where the change will occur. Okay, makes sense? And uh, just a, a note here, assignments typically appear four week, I mean, two weeks before they're due and quizzes one week before they do, okay? Typically, that's the way that works. Uh, again, procrastinate at your own risk. And then um, if you're brand new to Canvas and need some help, here's just some videos on how to submit an assignment. Because for example, uh, some people have submitted assignments, but they've never resubmitted an assignment. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to modules. And there's another section here called Supplemental Material. And I'm going to release, some of this stuff is released now, and then others get released, you know, during the, the course of the, during the course of the course. So the 10 types of plagiarism, the Azure Dev Tools for Teaching. I went ahead and got the uh, Appendix A and D for Visio plus Chapter 10, plus the student data files. Once again, this is just to speed things along. So you don't have to go to the author's website and download anything. You've got it all. And he, so here are the videos that exist, uh, you know, the introduction videos and the visual, virtualization ones are out now. Later, uh, in case you missed that day in class, I'm gonna release a video on how to install SQL Server. And then some more on normal forums and blah, 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 blah. And here are the lecture notes. So at the end of the lecture, so at the end of the lecture on the very first Tuesday, I'm gonna release uh, this set of lecture notes, okay? So here's the thing. I do not release them before a lecture because I really, really want you to be paying attention and taking your own notes. I don't want you 
to use this as a substitution for taking notes. These are my notes and they're cryptic as heck, okay? And sometimes they'll ask questions but they won't have the answers in them, right? So they're not they're not good an, they're not good lecture notes for you. They're good lecture notes for me. Okay. Um I think that's about it. Um Yeah. So the 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 real gist of this course is I am going to ask you to learn. And I know a lot of people just have a, a resistance to that. I, I kind of hard to explain. They would much rather just be spoon fed the answer and then regurgitate it whenever asked. And that's just not the way it works in this course. You're actually going to have to learn something. We're going to be talking about here are the rules for a relation. Here are the rules for first normal form. And then you're going to have to apply the rules. You're going to have to do it. Yeah, not just talk about it. Not memorizing the rule is not going to help. You're going to actually have to learn it. Okay. Uh, didn't mean to scare you off there, but I'll see you guys in class.